Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We are heading to set five. Kind of predicted this was gonna happen. You know, a season for one match. I think it was fair to assume that we we're gonna go five sets, but that did not diminish the drama, okay? I was feeling all the feels. The crazy fan taking the deep breath and then screaming, seeing how like Karasuno started when Daichi and Asahi and Suga were first years and how they've evolved and like, you know, everybody got in. Yamaguchi came in and made some key serves. Suga made the key short serve and a dig at a critical moment. Like things are moving. So we are gearing up for the fifth and deciding set here and I will have to control myself because I'm getting very worked up watching these episodes, watching this match play. So I'm so hopeful that Karasuno puts up a really good fight. I hope it's a solid match, but today we are taking on Haikyuu season three, episode seven, Obsession. I'm hoping to get some backstories here, um, maybe from Ushijima, Obsession. He, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just dive in here. We'll see what happens. So season three, episode seven is coming at you right now. Just a little recap, I hope. Ooh, left-handed tip, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, just what he needs to melt down right before. Did anybody notice Tanaka and Noya just sliding up there? Like, wait a minute, Kyoko is our girl. They were like sneaking in. Did not expect that reaction from Suga. He usually plays a very calm, cool, collected, but interesting choice. Okay, he came in for a couple plays in set four, made a key dig and key serve, as I mentioned earlier. But like, that is ballsy to switch up the setter going into set five. I feel myself getting a little bit of anxiety over this, but also nothing like ruling a team in a dictatorship. I am going to threaten you. You better win. If you don't live up to my expectation of you, you're nothing. Love that. I'm kidding. Okay. My heart is racing. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, baby. Suga knows Sasaki's favorite set. I thought that was a good touch. Cover, go. Yep. Go! Oh, yes! Okay. <laughs> Ew, Tendo is the worst. Okay, come on, go. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, baby! Okay! I have goosebumps. Oh my gosh, did anybody see that coming? First of all, I was very impressed with the synchronized attack run by Noya. I knew that he was working on that jump set action, but I thought that was only to the outside. So I was floored. Let me just catch my breath here because who ever would have expected Suga to swing in the counterattack. This guy, you know what? I take back what I said about him coming in. This guy is running the show, directing people on the floor. He is, he's been in my love house since the beginning of season one. I feel like so guilty that I doubted him entering the game. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. I take it back. My weapon is my reliability. Yes. Uh. Love that there's a lady coach.
Wait, no. No. I know I pressed pause when I don't know what's coming next and it could very well be a continuation of Tendo's backstory, but that, you're gonna have a coach that insists that you like follow a discipline system and then you're gonna leave to go to another school because that doesn't work for you. I have a couple questions. First of all, I've never heard of a man marrying into the mother's family, so can somebody explain that to me? Um, I found that very interesting that Ushijima had a different last name than his dad. Um, so I found, yeah, that's, somebody hit me up with that. Um, also, it brought back so many memories for me because like when I was really little, I would go out and play with my dad and he like taught me how to pass and set and he like would teach me how to throw the ball properly so that like I would eventually be able to learn how to play because like both of my parents were volleyball players. Um, my mom, I may have told you this before, but my mom was on the Canadian national team. My dad was also a player and when I was born, they were still playing. So I literally like grew up in a volleyball gym um, and started learning the basic skills when I was four. So like seeing little Ushijima with his dad like makes me think of my own childhood and like being in the gym and learning the basics. And so, I mean, as you can tell, I have a huge smile on my face. I think that's so amazing. But also the idea of correcting left-handedness, has that happened to anybody? Does Is anybody watching originally left-handed and their parents made them become right-handed because I'm left-handed. Obviously growing up in a volleyball family that was like good, which my parents were obviously very excited about it as Ushijima's dad was. But I know in a lot of places, left-handedness is not seen as a good thing. It's actually seen as a bad thing. So did anybody out there have their left-handedness corrected?
<gasps> hey, why don't you do that? うん。今のには感心するのに十番は嫌なんだね。若年君が十番を嫌だと思うのは得体が知れないからじゃない。よくわからないものって怖いじゃん。怖くない。いやいや、これなんか嫌だなって思うってこと。少なくともなんか
Because he's a smarty pants. Nice up. Nice. Uh. Do it again. Yeah, baby, go. Dude, go, yes. Set him. Or don't. Oh, good angle. Shut him down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Gosh, are you kidding? Yes! His first air of the match. <laughs> Dude. No. Are you freaking kidding me right now? That's unbelievable. First of all, his serve borderline. I would have even challenged it that it was out. And then he hits it out and they're going to call it. <sighs> Did the crypt keeper pay the referees off is what I want to know. Unacceptable. Tsukushima, you are my hero. You are blocking like a god, and thank you very much. I love how when everything is chaotic and people are going crazy, Suki just like calms his mind, softens his eyes, and just like processes the information, okay? He doesn't get worked up. He doesn't go crazy with the play. He just like reads, takes it in, reacts and he is doing awesome. Suga needs to like read the other team's block just a little bit more because Tendo is giving away where he's going so quickly. Dude, just take a quick glance over, see where he's going, set away from him, please. I'm getting very stressed out. I need Karasuno to call a timeout because they've given up six points in a row and this is stressing me out. That is all. Darn, he did touch it. I take it back. Not really, though. I'm still upset. <sighs> Tape that up. Get him back in. Okay, we need him. Yes. Yes, yes. He's coming back. I feel sick. <laughs> Smile, please. No. No, he's he's gonna come back. Also, I think that I am secretly every single character in Haikyuu combined because I broke my pinky finger too. Look at this. The one is so much fatter than the other. It looks so much better than it did. I've been like wearing a little splint on it to try to straighten it out because it was like that. 
but I broke my, I got my finger broken this summer while I was blocking. It just snapped right at the joint. I am Suki in spirit. Are you kidding? Stop it. Oh my gosh, I'm so determined and I'm not even playing. Come on, Suga! Back set. Cover. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, I know I'm being hard on Suga, but like, Tendo's giving away his blocking move very early, okay? I just have to say it, I know I, I love him still, I will always love him, but like, dude. Okay, just like, read the block. Secondly, I love his confidence. I love that he went for the swing again, but Tendo learned his lesson from the last swing and made a great move. Um, obsessed with the Ushijima backstory because I can relate to it like a million percent. Um, note to the Q writers, if you do a female version, like cast me as Ushijima, okay? Simple request, that's all I ask, okay? Um, I need to dive deeper into the Tendo backstory. I need to dive deeper into the Tendo backstory. I'm getting some hints of why he is the way he is, but like, I need to know more. Um, I'm feeling a little bit sorry for him because he was like a little gangly and awkward and like got made fun of. So give me more, please. Um, Cause everybody's telling me that I'm gonna like this guy when I see his backstory. It hasn't worked yet. I feel like a little bit sorry for him, but not enough for that to excuse how he is now. Okay, um, I am not loving that they've scored seven points in a row and Karasuno hasn't called a timeout yet. Okay, what are we waiting for here, guys? Okay, Ukai, we need to get on this. The game is running away from us. <sighs> Tsukushima, another issue. 
Love that he was able to show his pain to his team. Now he just needs to like, we will work to him being able to show it to his brother and other people. But the fact that he was able to be vulnerable and show that to his teammates is a huge step. I know he's going to come back. He wants the team to win. I have faith that he will be there. Usha, Usha almost just like ripped his finger off when he swung. Whatever. <sighs> okay. There is a lot going wrong right now. We need to switch things up a little bit. I have faith that this game will get back on track. At least I hope so, because if you can't tell, I am manic talking, meaning that I'm a little panicky. Okay, I asked a few questions. I have a lot of opinions. I need to process this before I can dive into episode eight because things are falling off the rails here and I'm not okay with it. So hit me up in the comments below. Help a girl out. I need some like, I need somebody to calm me down a bit because um, I'm not okay. Um, yes, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I asked a few questions, had threw out some very distinct opinions, which I'm sure I'm going to hear about. <laughs> um, and as always, you guys, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we are going to be back with episode eight because I need Karasuno to like straighten this out. Okay. So Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys very, very soon.